Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It is still Monday, May 6, 2024. I'm still the drunk Paul Gru, and happily enough, it's still beer time. I'm still sitting outside. It is it is quite warm today. It's a nice, beautiful day. There is an undercurrent of a cool breeze every once in a while, but the lilac smells are starting to come out. I've got three lilac trees on the property here, and you get whiffs every once in a while, and the back one is really old. Like, there's two here that are well over 50 years old. And the scents coming off of them have been really been good this year, so I'm digging that. I love lilacs a lot. A lot. Uh, I don't know why I just do. But anyways, from my pal and yours, Polly G, all the way from the north comes a new beer from Gateway. Well, a returning beer, sort of new. Uh, Evergreen Stream West Coast IPA. Polly knows I love West Coast IPA, so he brought me to 7% ABV. Very excited to try this. Uh, I think they mixed up the hops this time. They changed out one hop, I think Polly said. Any, and any way they do it, I don't care. Gateway makes fantastic beer. I wish more people could get into it. But again, location is everything. But up there, everybody up there knows. Everybody in North, North Bay knows that Gateway is fantastic. So West Coast IPAs. I told you this year was the year of the West Coast IPA comeback. Don't call it a comeback. They've been here for years. They never went anywhere. It's just I feel like they're getting more love this year. And I'm seeing more of them. And that's a fantastic thing. So let's get into this. Thank you, Paulie. Cheers. So, when it comes to beer, I, I like beer. When it comes to styles, I enjoy many different styles. The style that I love the most is West Coast IPAs. I love the bitterness. I love the malt bodies. I love the different expressions you can get inside of that style. You know, there are very good ones, there are okay ones, and then there are the bad ones. This is a very good one. This is wonderfully bitter. Grapefruit and orange peel, uh, that kind of rindy, citrusy pith. Uh, very deep, resinous pine, uh, earthy, resinous pine. A lovely malt back that has a hint of sweet. Right now, a good West Coast IPA will give you that little hint of sweet. I think about that, now that I've had Pliny the Younger and Pliny the Elder, and then these are the progenitors of all West Coast IPAs, really. Um, and you felt that touch of sweetness there. It can't be overwhelming, but it has to be there in way to balance out the bitterness. Um, utterly fantastic. This is a great, great West Coast IPA. It doesn't surprise me. I've had many Gateway City beers, and I've always been very happy with the product they put out. They seem to do styles very well, and a variety of styles and things other people don't do. But this is really nice. It really ties in to the West Coast bitterness. It really lays into the back end with that pithy, piney, bitter, over-the-top kind of hop thing. And I love it. That's why I love them so much, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So let's go. Uh, funny, I heard Rob Bass and DJ Z Rock at work the other day. And then we got talking about, like, rap and stuff. And, the, and I work with 20-year-olds, 22-year-olds. And I started talking about Sugar Hill Gang. And like, what the hell's that? I'm like, what's the progenitors of rap? And they're like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, that's what it is. And then trying to explain Rob Bass and DJ Z Rock because I'm singing the whole song. And I'm just, they're just looking at me like I got six heads. That's that's the way life goes, eh? And all right, thank you, Paulie. Enjoy the West Coast IPA on a do-nothing day. As Mrs. Polk gets home, and now I gotta go make dinner. Cheers. It really is lovely stuff. Gotta get back to North Bay soon. 